Welcome back to another edition where you get to pick our brains to know exactly what happened and why we decided to go into a play. And this one is nothing else than Tesla. After earnings, two days after, we were looking at the um, chart and we, we always tell you about support and resistance line, how you should have a in, uh, many lines drawn in your chart and this one two uh, sorry 626 ish is something that was you know long ago um if you look at um here you know this wick is hitting very close again here here there's the it, it bounced on it and then opened under but then it became a no-go you know it didn't want to cross didn't want to cross you know it comes from down here but you know it doesn't want to cross it bumps its head and then whoop it becomes um, bullish above it it did the opposite right you're here doesn't want to get through and here it doesn't want to come down so we have a situation where we had earnings, it bumped, it came down to hitting the line and it never went through it. What happens is we have, and we've talked about this in previous videos, we have a bunch of people that are kind of bearish here because they don't want to cross the line to get to the other crowd above the line. Now this is the new crowd, right? And this is the people, these are the people that you're, you're after. You want to buy from the bottom of these guys to the top of these guys, at least. Because if you break under this, you're entering this crowd. So basically, you're looking at a situation where, let me zoom in a little here. You're looking at a situation where if we get under the yellow line, we might go further down and as we were getting tighter see here basically the we're not finding buyers at a higher point we were about to do it here but no rejected it so basically it's getting tighter and you've seen this before you know we call it pennant or flag or whatever basically what it means we have people willing to buy at the bottom they don't want any further than this and they still find the same people here but they start selling a little lower still same people buying at the same spot but no it just you see how this is getting tight and tight and tight and as soon as you get above it well, we were talking about the crowd that is under, but now we're not looking at a crowd above this line. No, we're luck looking at the crowd above this falling line. So basically, as soon as we entered the line above it, now it became very, very bullish. So this is a pattern where when you have something that is very, a pattern that is tightening, just like this see it's like a triangle it's getting tighter and tighter and eventually it has nowhere to go and it just pops above it now we took at the bottom um, here we took a position for 750 so it's pretty high 750 we bought time it's um, mid August we bought time on that and we bought it for 335 and we sold half our position as we reached um, 678 which was an old line that we had in the chart so the idea is 
and we sold half our position at a little over um, 100%. And I keep say, saying this, when you take out your initial investment, the rest of the runners are running for free. So whatever happens, you're not going red on this play. So things to remember is this. I mean, we could have gone, um, when we took the play here, we could have gone like this tighter for days uh, before popping out. And we could have broken under. That's when you exit. That's the exit strategy. But the idea was to get bullish. And today we got some bullish news from the government uh, saying that we, um, well, things that we knew in advance, but things, nothing new. But when they say it out loud about how many cars are going to be sold, um, electrical cars need to be sold in such and such years. I mean, targets that they print out, they bring out today uh, are hard to set for the years to come. But nonetheless, this was bullish enough for us to pop on the day. So, like I said, look at old, this was an old resistance line that got broken and now it's getting used, it's support, it's getting tighter and then it pops above. But the idea is to buy at the bottom of this, this triangle, don't buy, well, you could have bought here, but make sure to, as soon as it starts to turn down, could have bought there again, but then it becomes kind of a channel, see if the channel is lower, then the idea is to, you know, it's getting, the, your your chances of getting um, success on, on a tighter channel are uh, less than impressive. So the idea is to have time on your hand and later on um, be able to see this pop as soon as we get good news coming out. So I hope this helps. Um, you see that it's a recap on many things that we have seen before, support resistance, and selling uh, partial when you're at least 100%. So stay with us and thanks for watching.